You want to say hi, Puffman? You want to say hi? Huh? Want to say hi to everybody? And there she is, the queen of queens, Victoria Cockatoo. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Hi, Victoria. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Okay, so I just got home from work not that long ago. And uh, we haven't gone live for a while. So what is she doing? She's taking pieces of her toy. Oh, my. She's taking pieces of her toy block. Hi, Ashley. And hiding it in the big fluffy cloud. Yeah. Hi, Mikio. And oh, how rude of me. Hello, Thomas. Do you see Thomas? He has new pin feathers coming in. I think he's having like a, a, a little molt. Hey, Navi. Hello, Pamela. Hello, PI girl. Hello, hello, hello. We've missed you guys. Oh, whoa. Look what he has left us. So let me clean this up. Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm like literally filming while I wipe up the poop. Sorry about that. Poop happens. Jess, Thomas just pooped. What do you have to say about poop? Oh, let's go show. Let's go see. Let's go show Jess. Jess. Oh, look at that poop. It's gross. <laughs> he goes, gross. Bubba the bird says, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell. Thank you. Thank you, Bubba. So Jesse goes, gross to the poop. And he goes, gross. He, sing he just did it again. Gross. Is that poop gross? Gross. Gross, huh? <laughs> It's gross, especially when you step in it, huh, Jess? Yeah. Where are you going? Look at that butt. Yes, Jesse agrees. Hi, Maui. Hi. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Look at, ow. <laughs> Good grief. You know, the only time he does this, like tries to bite me, is when my hair is wet and when I'm filming. He goes into kaik mode. Whoa, really? He was like actually cuddling in my jacket just a few minutes ago. And as soon as I started filming, and I was actually filming a, a tiny little video in here of them unwrap. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Hold on. That's in plastic. I don't want you eating. Oh, are you hungry? I, I just, Thomas, you just ate. Do you want some more food? He, he's like, Eating like he like he looks like he's starving, but he just had dinner. Oh, stepped in the poop. Just had dinner. Yeah, people are gonna think I'm not feeding you here, but look, you got food all over your beak, so that won't be the case. They know you're eating. Yeah, but he looks like he's doing like a a small little molt. So he's been losing some feathers and has beautiful new feathers coming in. And uh, so, wow, Thomas, you're going to look all shiny and new soon, aren't you? Yeah. So I wanted to give everybody um, an update. Um, dang, taking lessons from Puffy. Totally agree, Jesse. Oh, love Mr. Bueno. Mr. Bueno. Bubba the bird loves you. I wanted to give everybody an update on the queen. So it's been a while. So yesterday, uh, she went to see her ophthalmologist, Dr. Struby who keeps a very close watch on her eyes. And uh, you're gonna come over here? And so last month when she went in, he saw something in there. Um, it was concerning. He wanted to make sure that it didn't get any bigger in a month time. So we went back. He did not see um, the cataracts um, progress any more than what it was, but it is still progressing. And this is her good eye. Um, so she's not all the way blind in this eye like she is on her right eye. And then he said, what was it, the lipids? The lipids in the eye have not changed. So he said from last month. So he said that was good because he was concerned. 
Um, I actually got to Google that. I should know these things before I start talking about them. Um, so he said that was good too, that they didn't get any worse. So can you see this yellow stuff around her eye? It's kind of crusty. That's from all of the eye drops. 16 people, one like. <laughs> no, I actually see uh, 10 likes on here. I think YouTube is um, behind catching up those likes. I, I see it on live time here. Boy, Bubba the bird. Boy, just, just, just running this show. Thank you so much. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for moderating. Um, right, Victoria? Isn't that nice of Bubba? So that's that the drop so she's on two different types of drops clitorolac which is to help with inflammation we love you too bubba and then opticare which also the opticare helps with the um the cataracts and also helps with the little lipids so and i think those are like basically the crystals in her eye baby has crystals i honestly can't see crystals in her eye okay don't attack me be nice please I want to show them baby's crystals. So baby has, you'll see Amazon's. Do you see those little dots in his eyes? They look like crystals. You'll see Amazon's will have that. And they really don't know why that is. They don't know if it's diet, which um, they don't think it has to do with diet. It's just something that happens to Amazon's. Or is it from um, lighting? I don't, my birds get natural lighting from outside, so I don't do the lights. Who knows? Or hereditary. That's what they think his little crystals are, right? So that Opticare that you can actually buy on um, Amazon helps soothe that and helps it from getting worse, so they say. But I have seen improvements since we've used it. They are beautiful birds, well-loved and understood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I understand this one, though. I mean, he's, he's Puff Man one minute and he turns into Chucky. What are you today? Are you gonna be Puff Man or are you gonna be Chucky? Oh, I, 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 uh, I don't know. I, I think, watch your back, Puffy will attack. Yes, he will. He will, I, but I hear a, do you hear that? I hear a kayak. Do you hear that? Oh, Maui. Wait, where's Jesse? Oh, okay, Jesse. Look what he's doing. You went in your cage to play with your toys? Yeah? You got some good blocks. Did mama, did mama make those for you? Do you like them? Jesse has a wood addiction. So what we're having to do here is Jesse was getting a squash a day, an acorn squash or a pumpkin squash. In fact, we, my mom and I, we planted the whole backyard, acorn squash and pumpkins for Jesse because I'm gonna go broke buying him all these squash. But because he's getting one a day, <laughs> I'm telling him I'm spilling the tea. Because he's getting one a day, I didn't realize how much he was actually eating of that. And in fact, he was eating like all the seeds and he's eating a lot of the squash and we think that's why he's so fat. Yes, so Jesse is on a little bit of a, um, a wood thing instead. And so we're not doing a squash every day now that I've, the whole backyard is going to be squash and um, uh, pumpkins and acorns. So go figure. But um, they're still growing. So we got to get a little weight off of him. <laughs> so now he's going to shred wood instead. Yeah. He's so fat, you guys. But he loves to eat pumpkins and <laughs> acorn squash, don't ya? Yeah, I thought he was just shredding them. Okay, what's going on? What drama here? What drama here? Lo, he goes to town on the food for sure. I know. It's, it's never halfway with this one. He just loves his food. And he's like, I gave him his pellets today and he already had his dinner. And he just went through his pellets so quick. Like, he's a little garbage can. Yeah, he's like a cookie monster. So, are you eating dinner? Hi, Quinn. I know, I'm coming. But so, Victoria, so that's what happened. 
And then um, she's been still kind of sneezing, you guys, and she still mutilates herself off and on. So I, I think I said, was it on Facebook? Let me show you. I, we actually, it spilt, it fell today and the lid broke. We had a little bit of drama, but so she's still mutilating off and on. And so it's a, you know, it's a problem. I've got, we got collars galore here. But so this is what we're going to try or what we're trying right now. King's cages, pluck no more. Um, you got to be careful with these things because some of them, oh, Sammy's right here. Hi, Sammy. Some of these products can have alcohol in them and they can actually irritate the feathers. So you, you got to be careful when you're using products that aren't recommended by your avian veterinarian. Um, and so this is, this is what I'm going to use. My friend who is really up with uh, just natural healing and she has a cockatoo that was mutilating and it is working for her like she was tearing a hole in her chest and she took her to the vet you know they did all the blood work they did all that and so have i we did a cat scan we we've done everything we've ruled out everything because that's what you should do because there might be something else going on do you see that so after we did everything like from head to toe of victoria i've decided to try this and so you spray it on their feathers three times a day, and then you add it to the water. Um, so let's, we're gonna see if that works. So it's from King's Cages, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. So that's something totally new um, that I'm gonna try. And some of those products, you gotta be careful because they have alcohol in it. You don't wanna use that because some of those products will make the problem even worse. Bubba the bird, tail feathers crossed it works. Oh, tail, yes, I sure hope it works too. Because honestly, we're kind of like at the, bottom of the bottom of what to do i mean literally i've i've done everything haven't we blood work all, all kinds of stuff we hey what's going on okay so have i told you that they're in an abusive relationship right now puffy's actually doing nice something nice for baby he's preening baby because usually it's the other way but what happens is he doesn't want to preen him anymore, so he'll, like, pull a feather and then make baby preen him. It's, oh, oh, is that a feather? That little monster. Let's see. And then poor, oh, you see, he's getting tired of preening baby, and he's just kind of like, it's going to get rougher and rougher. He's going to be like, okay, baby, preen me instead, which, wow. That's, I'm actually surprised. Good boy, buddy. Puffy's being very nice. That's so hard for him to do, but he's doing it. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, look at that. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> Puffy, that was a good boy. I'm proud of you. Normally you're a menace. Aren't they cute? False sense of security. I know. <laughs> this is going to go south any second. Like something bad is going to happen. I just, I can feel it. Look at everybody. Oops. Everybody's wanting to be on the top of their perches. It's so interesting at night. This is where they like to be. Yeah. This is where they like to be. So... Okay, hi. So let's see. Let's see Mr. Bueno. There he is. Hi, Mr. Bueno. Hi. Yeah. Have you been a good boy? Have you been a good boy? Yeah? Oh, I love you very much. I love you so much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? You want to come around here? You want to show them your new feathers? Yeah. Ooh. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh, look at that food. I think he has more food on his face now. 
You're so cute. When it gets close to bedtime, Bubba has been going over and closing the door on his cage. That's really cute. <gasps> Do you hear that? That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Hi, Angel Light. Bueno, hello. Hello, he said bueno to you. So, so sweet. I noticed like uh, pretty soon we're gonna have a time change. Do we set our clocks forward? I think we set our clocks forward. Or do we set them back? Good Lord, I don't know. I better figure that out. But right now, I wish it would just stay. I wish they wouldn't mess with it because they sleep in in the morning. And it's been really nice because this one usually wakes up at 6.30 in the morning and he is screaming bloody murder. Like, he's like, okay, I'm ready to get up. I need food. I'm ready to eat. Give me my water. I'm ready to start the day. Uh, it's just like, uh, but now once the clocks change, it's going to be light again early and then it'll get dark. No, it'll be light earlier in the morning. Yeah. And then it'll get dark earlier too. Well, that's just going to suck, isn't it? So yeah, it's not good. It's going to be no bueno, but, um, Angel, are you, are you still here? So I wanted to, it just kind of popped in my head cause Angel just kind of popped on here. And I just want, I saw something rather upsetting. I know my life sometimes end up like this. But so U.S. ARC, I got to be careful how I say this because I get censored. Um, they'll pull down this live stream and they do if I start, start talking about certain things. So I got to be careful. Um, but do you guys remember uh, Lacey's act, um, the amendment, when they were, okay, good, I'm glad you're here. Um, so they were basically trying to enforce to where it was going to be illegal to have certain species and then they could add to it. So um, there's the Lazy Act, Lazy's Act that's out there to protect animals, which is good, but they were going to amend it. So they were going to add things to it and the wording was scary. So basically they could just add as they went and it necessarily wouldn't be voted in. So just leaving it at that. So we thought we were good. So yes, yes, Thomas, hold, hold your tongue. I'm afraid he's going to drop a big one here because it's, I dropped a big one last night. I was pretty upset. So in Iowa, there's a city in Iowa and they're trying to make it sound like it's to protect the animals, which you got, you got to understand when I, I don't, the GOV says that they want to protect or they want to make things convenient, you got to kind of think, okay, <laughs> what is the true story behind this, right? So here we go again, you guys. Brace yourself because this is worse than what we just went through. There's a town in Iowa. Um, they almost passed it, and it was three to two, and it still might pass, where they want to make it illegal to own more than, you ready for this, three pets. So dog, cat, cockatiel. Dog, cat, two cockatiels illegal. Uh, lit, reptile, cockatiel, cat, budgie, illegal. So um, this is serious. So this is a testing ground, you guys. Um, so you can go on to US Arc. Uh, they put a post up on Instagram and they put up, yeah. That's city. That's really sinking in, huh, Bubba the Bird? It's. I could not believe it when I saw this. So what they do is, um, they're saying it's to uh, stop the hoarders and all this stuff. No, no, no. There's always another plan behind something like that. So I want to find out who is. I've got to be careful. I don't want to talk too much politics, but the legislator, the SEN, the senator, um, who is behind this? Who started this? And then. Who is backing them? What are they getting for it for pushing this? What is the true story, right? Because I don't believe that's the true story of what they're saying. So um, something's not right. And that is really scary. April, a lot of people are using Telegram. They don't censor over there. Yes, I will go to US Arc. Yes. So go on to US Arc. Um, look on their Insta um, Instagram page. Look on their Facebook page. I actually shared it. And I got it, it got deleted off of my Facebook and Instagram, you guys. Oh, so I'm trying to stay out of trouble right now for about another month on social media because Victoria Cockatoo is going to be having a very important interview from 
I, it's a big YouTube group and it's animal YouTube. They, they make um, different types of shows, movies, very positive. They're called Geo Beats. And so they're going to be interviewing her on Sunday. And I really got to behave um, because they are going to be making a video on her. And I don't want to jeopardize that video, but then I also want to get the word out. So I kind of got to be really good on social media because I will get put back in social media jail again. And I will also, I could possibly get in other kind of trouble here on this platform. So I got to be so good, you guys. I got to be so good. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. So go on there um, and share. And I think what the best thing to do, uh, the way to approach this situation, uh, I will DM you the link, um, is... You know, because we don't live in Iowa. We don't live in that city with, where they're doing it. We need to make sure that the people in that town know what's happening. And that's what a lot of, uh, le when a le lot of legislation happens. I know here in San Diego, um, our, uh, our city council members, when they meet, they vote on all this stuff that changes our lives. And everybody's so busy, nobody even knows what's happening. They just figure, oh, we got them in. They're doing their job. Well, they can get a little sneaky and things happen because everybody's trying to like survive right now. Like everything's super expensive. People are struggling, let's be honest. And what a perfect time to get things through, right? So um, that's what's going on in Iowa. And it's our, we need to let the people in Iowa know what is happening because I honestly believe, you know, I said that they would come for the dogs and the cats eventually. Things were going to amp up. This Lacey thing was a test drive to see how people were going to react. And now here we are. They're doing it. They're doing it. And I, Iowa is the testing ground, basically, of what's happening. So it's serious business. It's serious business. And there's other things um, I feel are involved, but I don't want to say on here because, once again, I, I, they, they will take us off of this. Um, but there is a agenda behind all this, and it's not going to stop with Iowa. They're going to see how people react, and they're going to back off a little bit like they have with Lacey, which has only been tabled. They can bring that back and slide it back into another big bill that they're voting on, right? Um, so that's that still hasn't gone away, by the way. Um, so they, they push and then they back up a little bit and then they push more in and then they back up, make everybody feel like, oh, you know, they're going to leave us alone. Right, Thomas? Yeah, everything's going to be fine. And then when you least expect it, if there's a crisis going on, like very high gas prices, everybody's worried about the gas prices. They go in when people are distracted and boom, they get this stuff passed through. So just imagine I have many birds in this room. I don't even, I don't even want to say how many birds I have now that they're obviously going to be taking census and counting how many animals people have. But just imagine, I would only be able to keep three of them. So my question is, what is their plan for the other animals that people have in their homes? So many people have more than three animals, right? And so now they're labeling, you know, dogs, cats, birds, reptiles, they're labeling them all as pets now, which we kind of wanted, but now it's backfired. Can you download the Telegraph app? I will. I will. I will. So you can get that out. And now, so they're going to go at it this way, but what's going to happen to these animals? That's my question. Are they planning on destroying them? Because shelters are full. I mean, what? The city shelters are going to take them in. Everybody's broke. What, what is the plan exactly? Right? I, I kind of have an idea what they would probably do with them. So this is serious. I'll be honest with you. I was up most of the night. I did cry a bunch about it. I was pretty upset. And I'm so glad U.S. ARC um, put that up there. Because honestly, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be catching this stuff. That they catch this stuff. And that's why our auction them off. I don't think so. Because the thing is, so many people have more than three animals. When you start counting a salamander as a pet, so that's one. Uh, a parakeet, that's two. A dog, that's three. You know, some people have like five parakeets. So I don't know what their plan is, but honestly, when everybody's full, what do you do with them? You destroy them. 
So that is the only thing I can imagine what the plan is. I don't know. Do they have a plan? Did they think that far? I, I, I've seen, it's just, it's crazy. And so that's why it's important to notify all the pet shops in those areas. You notify the breeders. You go on to these Facebook groups and you make people aware. You just share them the link of US Ark, say, hey, did you know this is happening in your town? If we can notify all these people in this town in Iowa, then that is going to wake them up because they're the only ones at the end of the day. It has to be the citizens that go down to that town hall meeting that's going to be happening that raise their voice, that speak. I, I don't know. I've gone to the ones here in San Diego. You bet I'm, I'm there. And you get one minute to speak to talk about your concern. Mine was the palm trees. It, it did no good. They walked out on me. Um, but at least you got to do what you got to do. The more pressure, the more people that are against what's happening, these politicians are going to be like, yikes, you know, I, I want to keep my job. I want to keep getting reelected. I better back off this issue. And in fact, just totally oppose this issue. Right? So between the people in our house, there are three dogs, three cats and two birds. It was very interesting when we had to evacuate. Oh my gosh. So you, you guys were in the Florida hurricanes. Yes, that does sound interesting. Sorry, Thomas. So yes, I will let people know in Iowa and other states and bombard them with calls and emails. And that's why I was hoping you'd be here, um, Angel's Life, because I know you will. If bird napping is so popular and lucrative, like in Punta Gorda, and Punta Gorda got hit so hard by that, um, hurricane auctions will be popular. Maybe maybe i i don't know yeah i mean what is gonna happen with that and did any of those birds get found in punta gorda okay hey 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 jess jess don't so he's upset that he's on a diet so he stills wow he stills quinn's food and he throws it jess good lord did you see that yeah that's what he did and he just made a very rude sound. <laughs> so I just wanted you guys, yeah, Jesse's throwing a tantrum. I just wanted you guys to know this because a lot of people don't know this stuff. And um, I'm always observing, I'm always looking. And there are certain words that are used in um, politics and whatever when they're trying to pass something and they're my red flag words. And I see that they're going to see if they can pull this off in Iowa, see how, if it was easy, how much pushback, and then they're going to continue doing it in more states. It's weird they picked Iowa. Um, there's a lot of farmers out there. They got a lot of animals. They got a lot of pets. And I can imagine when they start taking the dogs and cats, um, cat people are pretty intense, I'll tell you that. Uh, I think it's not going to go very well for them, but that's if they know what's going to happen. If they don't know what's going to happen, and this ha hey, hey, Jess, and this happens, and they don't know it's happened, they're not even going to get a chance to, you know, fight for their animals. Now, how they would get all the manpower to enforce this, I have no clue, because I know San Diego, they can't even handle the DMV here. So that's my other thing. Where are they going to get the manpower for this to enforce removing the animals, to enforce it? Um, because that's the other thing. But regardless, we don't want this going through. It's a disaster area in Punta Gorda. Was wondering about the birds and caregivers and whether they survived. I was wondering that too. Um, I was wondering that too. So I don't know. I'm going to try to find out. Um, what happened with those birds and what happened with the rescue? The last I heard was, I, I mean, I just saw a comment saying the rescue did get hard, hit hard with the hurricane. I didn't see that coming from the rescue itself, um, but they were in Punta Gorda and they got hit, that area got hit hard. So I'm kind of assuming they did. Can reptiles and birds be housed in the same room? I honestly wouldn't because reptiles can carry salmonella and it can travel. A, a, a transfer to parrots but if you're really careful and you wash your hands and but you got to understand with reptiles you know the way they're designed when they poo and a lot of them eat 
you know, some eat mice, some eat, you know, meat and stuff like that. Their poop has way more bacteria than parrots do, right? And when they poop, they crawl through their poop and then you pick up the reptile, you give it kissies because some reptiles like kissies and you have it on yourself or you let it walk on the ground and then your parrots are walking on the same thing. So you can see where things could like transfer. Um, so I personally, I wouldn't have a reptile in here. I'm live. I personally wouldn't have a reptile in here, um, but some people can do it. So it just depends your system. Everybody has a different system. So I, I don't want to say you can't. Plus reptiles get loose. Yeah. Yes. Reptiles can get loose and some of them can eat parrots and some parrots are scared of reptiles. I know my parrots have seen them because I have taken care of um, reptiles for friends and they're terrified of them because reptiles can eat them. So like snakes and just how they look, even turtles, um, babies terrified of a turtle. So you got to think about that. You don't want them to be scared. Huh, baby? Well, okay, you guys, we're going to get going. Um, oh, yes. Oh, so a beautiful life. Yes, I've been watching Governor DeSantis and team every day. It looks like a war zone. So much was demolished. I know. I was watching him talk as well. He looks exhausted. I don't think he has slept for days, and he is handling it like it's a war. So um, they got a lot of... Um, people on the ground and trying to get to them and um just it's so uh, you know my dad's in florida my sister my nephews are in florida um unfortunately it was supposed to hit them and it turned but sadly when it turns it hit someone else's so so when i was praying for everybody i was praying that that hurricane would just be totally demolished and not turn anywhere but unfortunately it did take a turn and it did hit people and their pets and it just destroyed their lives um, people I heard the birds survived, not positive though. You heard the birds survived? Oh no. Yeah. A lot going on, you guys. So I am going to try to tactfully get the information out about what's going on in Iowa. Um, so I got to be careful how I do it because they will remove it or they won't show it to anybody. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I probably said too much on here that they will probably remove this video or demonetize me or something will happen with this video. Um, so I got to figure out how to get the word out. U.S. ARC is amazing. So always look on their site. Always go on there, see what's going on, because they are up with all what's going on. We've evacuated to a place we went instead of our area. Fun times. Bubba the bird. So you still have your house and all that, Bubba? You got all your stuff? You got enough food? I hope so. So... But yes. You ready? Now that you made a mess, are you ready to say goodbye to everybody? Huh? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Good, Bubba the bird. That's good news. And Jesse, I just want you to know, I am going to protect you. Nobody's going to mess with my birds. Nobody. Can you imagine? Mm -mm. It's not happening. And I have a feeling a lot of people feel the same way about their pets as well. So, all right, you guys. We love you. I don't even know where Prince... Where is Victoria? <laughs> there she is! It was a video supposed to be about the queen, and it, 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 it turned out... It, it was about all the birds, so that's good. All right. Yes, don't mess with our fids or our furry pets or our scaly pets or anything yeah leave them alone <laughs> all right bye guys bye monica take care you're welcome bye